Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Good morning, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good. So there is a lot of drama going on right now on these social media streets. With our girl, Kiki Palmer, and her baby daddy, Darius Dalton. So if you guys don't know, everything started, you know, sweetly enough. Usher currently has a residency in Las Vegas, and I do want to get out there and see him. I heard it's good. A few of my friends were out there this weekend, funny enough, seeing Usher. And so this video of Kiki Palmer, honey, in this see-through leotard dress goes viral. And basically, Usher spots Kiki Palmer in the crowd, and he starts to serenade her. And Kiki is singing. She is having the time of her life, honey. And she looked gorgeous. And so you know me. I had to come in and comment on my page. I'm like, I heard this show was good. I need to get out there. And he better sing to me like he did Kiki. If he don't treat me how he did Kiki Palmer, I don't want to go, okay? But I'm going to go out there sometime this summer because um, I heard his shows off the chain. Everybody I know who have gone, they loved it. So, again, Usher, if you see this video, okay, and I'm talking about the real Usher, not the Usher at your mama church, okay, I'm going to need you to bring me on stage and serenade me. Like one of the tea sippers said, he better be singing, there goes my tea tea. <laughs> Anyways, I thought it was cute. I thought Kiki looked good. So I went on about my little merry way. And then a few hours later, I go back on my page and I see the baby daddy is going off, honey. Mr. Darius Dalton was not here for Kiki's sexy glow up, okay? So he took to social media and he wrote the following. He said, it's the outfit though. You a mom. So that did not sit well with a lot of people. So, of course, people started attacking him. And so a man replied back to Darius and they said, absolutely nothing wrong with that, brother. You've always been an upstanding man and you're already a great father. I would try to keep it off of here, though. People aren't rational here. And then Darius says, last tweet of the day for sure. That's for the real ones to understand. Then he also goes on to say, we live in a generation where a man of the family doesn't want his wife and mother to his kids to showcase booty cheeks to please others. And he gets told how much of a hater he is. This is my family, my representation. I have standards and morals to what I believe. I rest my case. Okay. So that is what Darius had to say, and a lot of people really felt the way, because you know social media, honey, there's no nuances. And if you say anything that goes against the grain or you have an opinion on something, folks are going to come for your neck. So a lot of people were not pleased with this. They felt like he was very controlling and that he was a hater and he was jealous and things like that. Now, I can, you know, I'm trying to put myself in his shoes, and, you know, she's dressed more sexy, you know, we don't really see normally Kiki Palmer dressed like this. But, honey, let me tell you something, okay? Because me and Kiki Palmer had the same body shape before we had our kids, okay? Up and down, very thin. Um, she's always been a beautiful girl. But what men and some people don't realize, when you've always been the skinny girl and you have your baby and then you develop curves that you've never had, meaning bigger boobs, fuller hips, he gets mass. You want to show it off. You feel sexy. You know, she still has that new mom glow. You know, she looks gorgeous. 
because it's almost like you're in a body that wasn't yours prior. And she's embracing that. And I think she's doing a good job of embracing that. She's not on here shaming women and, oh, I'm the snapback queen. She's not doing any of that. And I think she looked gorgeous. But I can get it as a man. Maybe he feels a way about her outfit. But is it really about the outfit, Darius? Let, let me ask you a real question, my Panamanian brother. Um, I don't think it's the outfit. I think you feel a way because Usher was serenading your baby mama. And Usher had her screaming and, and crying and singing in ways that maybe I think he legit is jealous of the fact that she got attention from Usher. It's one thing for her to go to the concert and sit down and just enjoy it with her girlfriends. But the fact that Usher spotted her, brought her on stage and made a whole show of it. That's really why you're mad. And another reason why I think that this whole Darius situation is really upset about her being with Usher because there have been videos that Darius has posted of Kiki where he, where he stated himself that their son changed her body and Kiki's twerking. Y'all see this? Y'all see this work? <laughs> Y'all see this? Y'all see this work? <laughs> so his morals had no problem posting that video. There's also another video of Kiki where she's literally twerking in a thong with like a, you know, a cheerleader skirt on. And he didn't seem to have an issue with that because he didn't comment about that video or anything. Give me three and a half minutes, maybe before Kiki. So it's clearly obvious where his insecurity is coming from is the fact that Usher serenaded his baby's mother and he knows he cannot compete with the Usher, period, point blank. Now, I've been side-eyeing him for a while. I never wanted to really speak on how I felt about him or the controversy around him because, again, I'm a big fan of Kiki. I've always loved Kiki, always rooted for her, and she's been through a lot in the industry. So when she found somebody who seemed to be a good fit for her, very handsome, you know, 6'6", six, six, um, you know, and she's having her first baby, I was really happy for her. But I remember when I went to go do more research about Darius a while back, it was some things that kind of troubled me. And now with the way he's acting on social media, um, I think there might be some validity to this. So if y'all do not know, before Darius got with Kiki Palmer, now Kiki met him at Diddy's party, okay? The only reason why Darius was even there, because he's not an actor, he's not really famous, his brother is famous. His brother is on a show called Insecure, Issa Rae's Insecure, and so he was invited because of who his brother was. His brother's name is Sarunas Jackson. I don't know if I'm saying that right. My apologies if I'm not. Brother is very handsome. He played ball, went to college. Um, Darius played football. He went to college as well. But Sarunas has been acting on Insecure. So, you know, he went with his brother to Didi's party. If it was not for him, you know, and his ties to his brother, he would not have been invited. He would have never gotten a chance to meet Kiki Palmer. So we met very casually at a party, which is so okay. rare. We met at Diddy's. Uh, Diddy was doing an insecure after party with Issa Rae. Okay. And I had just done the show, and his brother worked on the show. Mm. And so, you know, I was just like, you know, I see his brother around a lot, uh -huh. you know, and I'm like, who the nigga with you? <laughs> Like, I, I see you at the parties, but you ain't never brought him with you. Hey. <laughs> and, um, and he was like, oh, that's my little brother, you know? And I was like, oh, little brother. <laughs> and, so, <laughs> yeah. and so I was just like, you know, I was like, I walked up to him, you know, Nora, you know, my girl, my best friend, uh -huh. she was like, you should just say something to him, <laughs> you know? Yeah. She's like, that's, that's, that's how baby. That's how uh, I'm like, I'm like you, should, you should ask him if he wants a drink. <laughs> You should ask if you want to date. And I'm like, girl, you think I should? She's like, yes. <laughs> and so I was like, okay, yeah. shit, I'm going to. And so I was okay. like, you want to take a shot or whatever like that? And he was like, you. so this is the thing. Uh -huh. He's very fine. Uh -huh. But he like has that personality where it's like, do you know you're fine? You know what I'm saying? So when I walked up to him, I was expecting him. I was not looking for love. I so that is where she met the love of her life. But what was very interesting is that, you know, once he went public with Kiki and started claiming her, his girlfriend, who thought that they were still in a relationship together, her name is Taylor Marie, she found out about the relationship once Darius went public. The problem with that is just three weeks before he went public with Kiki, he had pressured this young woman to abort his child. So she took to social media and she had wrote the following on her TikTok. She wrote, when he gets you pregnant, 
presses you to have an abortion, and three weeks later, he's booed up with Kiki Palmer. Now, what's interesting, I can't play the song, but in the background, the song that Taylor Marie is playing is called Monday Night Raw by YNJ. So meaning he don't, you know, he don't believe in condoms and, you know, he'd be knocking people up and then pressuring them to get abortions. But it's very interesting once he's seen, you know, fame and a check with Kiki, he didn't pressure Kiki to get an abortion because because he knew basically he hit, he hit the jackpot. You know, he don't went from this unknown Taylor, no disrespect to her. I never heard of her before to Kiki Palmer. That definitely upped his status. So he never forced Kiki to get an abortion. They had their baby and everything else. Beautiful little boy named Leotis. And so I do feel like he's slightly controlling. Even if he felt a way about her outfit, I feel like at the end of the day, social media was not the place to have this conversation. Um, from what I hear, they live together. So he could have waited for her to fly home from Vegas and then had that conversation. The second you bring something to the public eye, you allow millions of people to go into your relationship, dissect it, go through your old tweets, and basically tear apart your relationship. So he really messed up by doing this. What's crazy enough is that as of this morning, Kiki's no longer following him, and he's no longer following Kiki. Now, he's been drugged so bad on social media that he has now deleted his Twitter, he's deleted his Instagram. So my thing is this, if you can't take the heat, sir... Keep your ass out the kitchen. He had no business posting this on social media. He should have spoke to her about this behind the scenes if he really felt the way. But what's very interesting is that, you know, he's saying that he doesn't want his wife's, you know, booty cheeks, you know, being shown to the world. And this is his family. This is his representation. And I can get that. I can get that some men are more conservative. So I'm not going to necessarily knock that. But my thing is, he's saying a lot of stuff about having standards and morals. But when I went to go check, um, you're not married to Kiki. Y'all are not even engaged. So you can't have all these standards and morals when it comes to how she dresses. But yet and still, you had no problem making her a baby mama. Why didn't you marry her before? Why didn't you marry her before knocking her up and, make, and having a child out of wedlock since you're so big on standards and morals? Most people who are more conservative leaning, who have these high standards and morals, they're not having children out of wedlock. They're not knocking up, you know what I'm saying, Instagram models or whatever Taylor does. Once again, I apologize. I don't know her. Um, and then forcing them to get abortions. Most conservative people don't believe in abortions. They believe that if a child is conceived, it was by the will of God. So the fact that you pressured, allegedly, this young lady to have an abortion, then you turned around and had another baby a year later out of wedlock, I have to question, are your morals and standards really true? Or are you just saying this to shame her and to put her in her place? So I'm not feeling that because, like I said, to me, when I saw the video, I saw the woman who was having fun, who's, you know, becoming more secure with herself, um, who's loving her body, who's loving the space that she's in. And it's really sad that her own baby's father would tear her down publicly like this. So I'm not feeling it. But again, I leave the question up to you, my tea sippers. Have y'all been to the Usher show? Let me know how it is because I'm ready at this point to book a ticket and go, I need a break. But um, let me know what you guys feel about this whole story. How do you feel about Kiki Palmer's outfit? Do you feel like she was doing too much? You know, she's a mother now. She needs to tone down, you know, showing off the booty cheeks. Or do you feel like, no, she's loving her body. She's loving herself. She's in a beautiful space. And how do you feel about what her baby's daddy had to say? You know, him basically blasting her and talking about her clothes. And then how do you feel about them unfollowing each other and him basically deleting all of his social medias because he can't take the heat. So he ran out the kitchen. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Leave your comments down below. I look forward to reading them. I will talk to y'all later. Have a good day. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely tea TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely tea TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.